The HSC School Board will be considering a recommendation next week concerning in-person instruction at both high schools. If you are a parent of a high school student, you're aware that a simple two-question survey has been sent for your response. The purpose of the survey is to determine the number of students who would choose to attend school Monday through Thursday or attend virtually. Given the current number of virtual students, we believe that it may be possible to shift from a hybrid 50-50 model to a Monday through Thursday model and still have approximately 50% of our students attending in person. However, we need the feedback from our parents. Some parents have responded that they do not feel they can commit without knowing how large the classes will be if we move to a Monday through Thursday option. Unfortunately, we can't project classroom numbers until we have more feedback from the parents. Our goal is not to exceed 50 to 55 percent student occupancy of the building. It is impossible to guarantee 50 percent classroom capacity though. If we know which students will choose in-person instruction, we can project classroom numbers and consider adaptations or accommodations if particular classes exceed guidelines for COVID safety. Some parents are concerned about committing to an option until spring break. If the choice is to go in-person, but after attending, there is a desire to pull back out to virtual, we will allow that choice. However, students who choose virtual will not be permitted to change to in-person until after spring break. If the survey results reveal that we have more than 50 to 55% interested in attending in-person, we will not recommend moving forward. If we do not recommend this option, or if the board does not approve a recommendation for this option, the students will remain on a status quo schedule. We will not be considering a recommendation in which some grades are hybrid and others are Monday through Thursday, and we are not considering a change in schedule for grades seven and eight, though that may come in the next few weeks. I once again remind you how important it is that we have your feedback so that the school board can make a data-informed decision on this question. I've heard frustration from parents that we continue to change our operations plan. Believe me, I understand that frustration. Chronic unpredictability in this pandemic has made operational constancy impossible. Early in this pandemic, I stressed that conditions were fluid and that our plan would have to respond to that fluidity. That fluid nature continues. If you listen to Governor Holcomb and Dr. Box this week, you know that changes in contact tracing have been recommended for schools, and we're studying those changes, and so it goes. We will continue to move forward, adapting to new information and circumstances as best we can. On a lighter note, I mentioned last week in my video announcement that Justin Hernice, Executive Director of the Hamilton Southeastern Education Foundation, would appear with me this week to share information regarding an upcoming foundation event that involves competition, intelligence, and fun. I turn this over to Mr. Hernice. Since 2001, the Hamilton Southeastern Education Foundation has supported our teachers and students. The foundation has hosted for the last nine years Game Day at Connor Prairie, a fun sports themed night to celebrate public education in our community. This year, we're taking the fun online as we host a virtual trivia night on Friday, February 19th, starting at 6.30 p.m. Our silent auction returns next Friday with baskets from all 22 school PTOs with prizes available to the schools with the top bids. New this year is a raffle which starts later today with tickets pulled on the 19th. We're also offering game day themed hats for all future, current, and former Tigers and Royals. Proceeds from game day benefit student scholarships for the class of 2021, innovative teacher grants, and district initiatives including SEL, equity work, and mental health. Visit hsefoundation.org and click on the game day banner for more information. On behalf of Dr. Borf and the foundation, I urge you to stay warm out there and have a great weekend.